So I was eating this ice cream and I had a memory when I looked at this cone. And the memory is this problem from Griffith's electrodynamics that involves calculating the electric potential difference between the bottom and the top of an electrically charged cone. I actually made a video about it on my YouTube channel years ago. Now, I thought about, hmm, this problem was kind of hard, but its answer is on the internet, so I can't give an LLM this question. So I decided to modify this question a bit. It still involves a cone, but I want to see if my modified cone problem can be solved by some reasoning LLMs. So let's go uh, find out. What I decided to do is instead of making it about electric potential difference, I changed it to gravitational potential difference. Now, any astute student of physics will know that that really doesn't change the problem all that much, really, because the difference between the two forms uh, or the other two equations is just some, some coefficients. The integrals that you use to calculate in the process, you go about calculating the potential difference, is the same, it's rooted in potential theory. And so the approach is virtually the same and actually air dropping two images of the work I did just to show you that I did do the problem again, just to remind myself how to do it. And I did it with the gravitational variation here, just so I would have the uh, answer nearby. And in the off chance that I actually did this problem completely wrong, I did the math wrong. I also did it in Mathematica here. And so this is the final expression that one should get, roughly. And the chatbot arena is still going, so I, I think I might as well not just waste any time and just drop it into GBT 03 mini high just directly. Let's see how that goes. Let's take a look at its reasoning here. I'll need to figure out how to calculate the gravitational potential difference. The cone is hollow, meaning it's a thin conical shell with a uniform mass density, so it has no has mass but no volume. Vertex is fixed at the origin. The base is a circle with the center of the vertical axis. La la la. Okay. Oh, whoa. It's already done reasoning? That quick? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. It went really fast. What the heck? So th it gave an answer here, but I don't think this is right. So we got the, so it gets the two pi g sigma r. So I could rewrite this. Hold on, let me, let me rewrite this really quickly. Two pi g sigma r and I'm going to add pi sigma g r to minus sigma pi g r. And if I minus that, then I just need to flip this, right? So I go log root 2 plus 1 minus log 2 minus 1. Wait, but then I should have a 1. Oh, but then I should have a 1 half, right? And then it should be 1 minus half of log root 2 plus 1 minus log root 2 minus 1. And then this thing, right, this this term right here, I'm saying this term, this should be equal to what ChatGPT had, I believe. Eight, eight, or no, just no minus sign, sorry. Yeah, 0 0.881374. Yeah, no, that's it. That's the same answer. Because it got, because 1 plus square root 2 is 0.881374. And then what my term is, is also this thing right here. So this is what ChatGPT has, and this is what I have, and they are numerically the same. He had root 2 plus 1, and then... Two. Yeah, so he had this. So this is what I had basically. So this is again for the electric potential difference, not for the not for the gravitational. But nevertheless, I can't believe it, yo. It did it in like 30 seconds. It thought about it for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. So again, this should have been this I'm pretty sure the electric potential of one could have been in its training data just because it's Griffiths and Griffiths is commonly available. But I'm impressed that it was able to translate that problem over to gravitational potential difference. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, how about the chatbot arena? So Claude, um, Claude got it too, actually. Claude three seven, got it. This is the same answer. Actually, I want to give it a deep seek real quick. 
What if we give it to Deep Seek here, real quick here? I just want to see, will it struggle or will it get it? Deep Seek will be a good one to try. Let's give it to its thinking mode here. I like looking at the chain of thought to see how it does. So this is this is the right setup here. This is the right setup. So it's going to do a parameterization, which I didn't do, but they are equivalent. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is it doing here? Is it calculating a... Oh, it's calculating a tan like a tangent vector. Yeah, it's parameterizing the surface here, and then it's doing all this stuff. This is a very... I mean, this is totally legit. You can do this. It's just not the way... It I think I've tried doing this before. I mean, it's totally equivalent. It doesn't, there's more than one way to do this problem, but this is interesting. a new... Uh, interesting new approach here. Oh, whoa, 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 look at this. So here we go, the two, we got QWQ32B, I think, or QWQ Max, and Gemini Pro 2.0 Experimental. Oh, no, this is wrong. This is just flat out wrong here. Sorry, Gemini, wrong. Um, wait, what? How did they? <laughs> is it probably, whoa, I just wrote that out. <laughs> Okay, so this is the right answer. Quen Max just got it. So Quen Max just got it. This is the right answer. Amazing. Amazing. Gemini did not get the right answer. Sag. Can we, can we get a Sag in the chat? And Deep Seek R1 is also still thinking. Oh, whoa. Is this... Oh. Oh, really? Oh, that makes sense. Wait a minute. I think I've seen an answer like this actually somewhere. Wait a minute. Wow, log three plus two root two. So far, chat GPT, O3 Mini High has gotten it. Um, Claude Sonnet 3.7 in the um, LM Arena has also gotten it. Three plus two times square root of two. <laughs> I just, I wanted you to numerically evaluate that. Oh, it is correct, okay. Okay, just wanted to verify. Just wanted to verify. So two minus, so this is oh, two minus log three plus root two, which is also the same. I see, okay. I learned something new. These LLMs teach me something new every day. It thought for 280 seconds. So it thought for four minutes and 40 seconds compared to ChatGPT thought for 30 seconds. And how about, uh, let's see, what about the LM Arena one? One last thing. I'm going to give it to Sonnet Extended in the actual interface here. I really just want to see how it's going to do here. But Gemini 2.0 Pro isn't a thinking model. Okay, my bad. Sag for Gemini, though. Yeah, this is the right approach here. This is the right formula. So, as I expected, it do, it is able to see, like, I'm pretty confident that this problem in the in expressed, as I've mentioned earlier, in the electric uh, the electric potential example that's commonly uh, shown in the Griffiths textbook is probably in its trading database. So this integral, this form of the integral should be known to it, but it's interesting that it's able to sort of map the concept. It can switch domains from electric to gravitational, and yet it still realizes that, realizes is a, I don't know if that's the right word, but it, it, it's able to uh, go through the process correctly here. Thus the integral is this, so the result is, oh, oh, are we going to get a final answer that's correct? Oh, it has a thing in log root 2 plus root 3. Let's double check. Oh, my gosh, double check. Okay, so, oh, yeah, that's the that's the thing. So the potential difference is approximately this. 2 minus, oh, yeah, yep. That's it. Oh, it's still going. Wait a minute. <laughs> it, it, wait a minute. Like, that was the right answer, but... Let's be careful. It says, wait a minute, we've decreased so uh, as we've calculated. So it's like, it got the right answer. Now it's going back to the process again. Oh my goodness. Oh, we get the same numerical value. <gasps> oh my gosh. It got it right. Or exact results this or equivalently is this. Actually, there's one more check we can do. <laughs> it's like, okay, I think you got it. You, you did it. Okay, we get it. You're really smart, Claude 3.7 extended. You're really smart. And indeed, it gets that same answer. So 2 minus log, sorry, 2 times square root 2 plus 3. Just double checking here. 
0.23. And so if I had it in the original way, oh, right, because if I do two this, right, then you get this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, two minus that gets you that. Right. Yep, okay. That is the right answer. So, okay, I've satisfied my curiosity for the night. I literally just did this problem on paper a few hours ago and was like, oh, it's kind of fun doing this kind of problem again. And so I'm happy to know that I still got it, sort of, and the LLMs can uh, also do it. Uh, what do I think about all of this, right? I mean, what does this all mean? I think one of the, the questions that I'm having with all of this, with these LLMs being able to do these problems, is like, do they really understand physics, right? It's one thing to, for, for things to be able to sort of logically follow step by step, get to the right answer. But then if you ask it, okay, what if you try to convince it that something that's false is true or vice versa? I don't know. These kinds of tests make me very curious about those kinds of questions because all I can do is evaluate how it does against me, right? When I give it a question like this and it arguably does a better job in terms of it's, it's way more thorough. It can actually calculate way faster than I can and it can be paranoid as heck and, and go through all this chain of thought reasoning uh, for three minutes and, you know, go through so many different checks to make sure that it's right uh, compared to me. How, how do you explain your understanding of something? <laughs> how do you define intelligence? Do do we really understand physics? They could ask us the same thing. I I agree. You know, I'm makes me question what 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 it means for me to understand something, right? Like these representations I put down on a piece of paper to understand quote unquote the physics of the the situation, right? Of this cone problem, right? Does this mean I really understand it? Even though I'm going through like you know I'm going through this problem and breaking things down. Yeah, this is some really deep stuff, guys. I don't have the answer for you, unfortunately. Before I go to bed. But uh, thanks for stopping by, as always, for this kind of sudden stream. I just had this random idea of looking at this old problem. And, yeah, I wanted to see how the LMs would, would go about solving it. And I would I was not disappointed. They, for the most part, except for Gemini, except Gemini's not a thinking model, solved it. So, okay, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, I will see you in the next stream.